Welcome to Emergency Insights. I'm your host, James Carter. Today we're focusing on a common but often challenging scenario, urinary catheter selection in the setting of urethral obstruction. Whether you're in the emergency department or on the floor, being prepared for resistance during catheterization is essential. Let's walk through a practical and evidence-based approach. When we encounter urethral obstruction, selecting the right catheter can make the difference between success and trauma. Common culprits include benign prostatic hyperplasia, urethral stricture, or a false passage. Our priority is to relieve bladder retention safely while avoiding unnecessary injury. As a general rule, always start with the smallest catheter that will do the job. For adult males, that typically means a 14 to 16 French catheter. For females, 10 to 14 French is sufficient in most cases. Smaller catheters reduce the risk of urethral injury and tend to be more comfortable for patients. Now, if resistance is encountered, that's the time to consider stepping up. A 16 or 18 French Coude tip catheter is often your next best move. The Coude catheter is curved and slightly stiffer, allowing you to guide it around an enlarged prostate or through a narrowed urethra. Its rigidity helps prevent kinking and improves your chances of success. In cases where there's significant obstruction, such as hematuria with clot retention or postoperative swelling, a larger bore catheter may be necessary. Catheters ranging from 18 to 24 French can allow for continuous irrigation and help prevent clot-related blockage. But keep in mind, with increased size comes increased risk. Larger catheters can cause more trauma and discomfort, so escalate only when clearly indicated. Let's also talk about what the guidelines say. The American Urological Association recommends a 16 or 18 French Coude catheter if a standard straight tip catheter fails. Clinical tools like UpToDate echo this advice, favoring stiffer, curved catheters in obstructed cases. When hematuria is present and clot retention is likely, moving up to a 20 or 24 French may be necessary. Technique matters as much as equipment. Always use adequate lubrication and a slow and gentle hand. If resistance continues despite your adjustments, stop. Forcing a catheter can create a false passage or worsen an existing injury. And when in doubt, call urology. Let's recap. Start small, 14 to 16 French for routine cases. If resistance occurs, escalate to a 16 or 18 French Coude catheter. In severe obstruction or clot retention, go bigger, 18 to 24 French. Always prioritize patient safety over speed. And remember, never force a catheter. Thanks for joining me on Emergency Insights. I'm James Carter. Stay sharp, stay safe, and see you next time.